This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell? Why? I can do anything I want to. Anytime I want to. Don't let the fucking This episode of Openly Hostile Opinions has been brought to you by Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access provides state-of-the-art multi-layered security with advanced privacy protection using VPN tunneling. When you use Private Internet Access, not even your ISP can tell what you're doing online. Prevent throttling and other people from eavesdropping on what you do. If you want to help out Openly Hostile Opinions and get yourself this wonderful VPN package, go to ohonet.pw slash ohovpn Again, that is ohonet.pw slash ohovpn Sign up for private internet access today. Hey, hey, hey! What's up, motherfuckers? How you doing? Woo woo! Welcome to another episode of Sad Lonely Guys who sit on Tuesday nights and talk about dumb shit. Yes. Uh, 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 I got a special shout out from my friend uh, Rajesh who says, uh, show Bob's and Vagine. <laughs> uh, if, if you won't, hack you Wednesday, bitch lasagna. <laughs> so thank you, Rajesh, for that lovely comment. Show we appreciate Bob's and Vagine. <laughs> we, we, we appreciate you and thanks for your support. Yes. Welcome, everybody. How you doing? I'm feeling great. You know why? Because the fucking Patriots lost the Super Bowl. Fucking, woo -woo! <laughs> fucking Tom Brady. <laughs> fucking little fairy. You know, at least did you I, watch it at all? Uh, I watched over half of it, and then I determined that having sex was more important than watching <laughs> the end. Oh my god, dude! Fucking Tom Brady. The Patriots tried to do the water boy move, mm -hmm. play, and Tom Brady was like frolicking. <laughs> he like frolicking. Yeah, he flea flicked it back to the like mm -hmm. some running back, and the running back threw it to him. Tom Brady went. <laughs> like just spilled over. Dude, it was the most feminine thing I think I've ever seen. Oh, did you see him horrible. in that? Did you see him in that overcoat coming into the yeah. stadium? Oh my People God. were saying he looked like a divorced mother. <laughs> <laughs> he or, wants to talk to the manager. <laughs> so, because some caption was like, "Tom Brady looks like he just won a divorce settle and got the kids." <laughs> <laughs> He's looked. such a I fucking hate Tom Brady. I hate him so much in that pass because I've said this numerous times. I think Tom Brady is only good because his line gives him all the time to do it, everything. They give him all the time in the world. In the Super Bowl, he had two plays where he didn't have the line in front of him and he fucked him up like horribly. <laughs> like horribly actually sort of three times because once his line got broke uh philadelphia uh knocked the ball out of his hands and got the fumble to win the game but he's just so feminine <laughs> and he's so gay and he's just like when he tried to catch the ball he was like ballerina that's a huge bitch yeah <laughs> Fuck it. it just had to be the eagles though Ugh. you know what though i'm glad i'm glad the eagles finally won one it, you know what if if the steelers can't do it at least we stick with pennsylvania <laughs> yeah but it's just like the last the last team that I would want to beat the New England Patriots would have been the Eagles, and that's who it was. Hey, you know what? More power to them. Yeah, when I was younger, I was a Cowboys fan, so it's like in my blood to hate the Eagles. I have to. It's just like a law. <laughs> yeah, eh, whatever. I'm not yeah. a big Eagles fan either, but. Yeah, whatever. You I'm know just, what's strange? I'm just glad Tom Brady lost. I hope you kill yourself. <laughs> you know what's strange? When it what's comes that? to football, I'm a, I'm a Steelers fan. Uh -huh. But when it comes to every other sport, I, I follow Philly. It's weird. Yeah, that's right. You like the Flyers. I like the Flyers, 76ers, mm -hmm. the Phillies. They, yeah. Those are my teams. Huh. But it, when it comes to football, I just I, I never got into the Eagles. Yeah, I, I, wish, it, do it. I wish it was someone else besides the fucking Eagles because I hate them. <laughs> and with all the riots and stuff that were going on. Oh, that's hilarious. Why do you riot when your team wins? I don't know. But here's the thing. Um, I... I was watching some people were live streaming the riots. Of course shit. they were. Yeah. And it was insane. This guy was eating shit. Yeah, I saw that. Did you see that? I did. This Eagles fan. Um, and that's one of the stories I was going to cover was this Eagles fan was eating shit and they have video of it. And because um, the cops had, were on horses 
Mm-hmm. So these cops were walking in on horses, and these horses were just taking huge fucking shits. As horses are wont to do. Yeah, and you couldn't tell because, it, you know, the Eagles fans were there and the pile of shit. You couldn't tell which was which. No. Oh. <laughs> but, uh. but, um... Yeah. So this Eagles fan, he's wearing this scarf, <laughs> and he goes down and he starts eating this horse shit. I don't know why. You know, when my team wins the Super Bowl, it's the first thing I want to think. You know, I'd, I'd love a number seven with extra shit. Um, and he's eating this shit, and you know what he complains about? His scarf got in the poop. <laughs> yeah, you know, not the fact that it's currently coursing through your you know digestive tract or anything yeah i just i don't know philly what are you doing (laughs) welcome to our women who have joined our 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 women yeah our women how much for the women how much for the little girl (laughs) yeah i don't know it's it's just fucking weird like i said i don't know what makes you want to eat shit but that's what they did and it's just whatever (laughs) you know and i i saw something just today on the news uh somewhere i don't know i should fuck sources Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, so um, that said that more often than not, you riot when your own team wins. Yeah, I you know. don't riot when they lose. Philly, and, on the other hand, just riots whenever. And yeah, Philly. exactly. It's it's Philadelphia. They're nuts. They were trying to like tear down the Rocky statue and shit for some fucking reason. I don't know why you would want to do that, but I don't know. I'm just glad the Patriots lost. Whatever. And actually, watching that live stream of the rioting was actually really funny because people were just fucking drunk as shit. One guy ran up because they had a microphone. They were like, how do you feel? And people were like screaming. This one guy runs up and grabs the microphone. He's like, I just got out of prison from nine years ago. This shit is crazy. (laughs) Like, it was so funny. He was just, he came out of nowhere and, oh man, nine years in prison. Imagine being in prison for nine years and you come out and the city's just a mess because the Eagles won the Super Bowl. <laughs> it's like, the whole city's on fire. Put me back in! Yeah, exactly. That's, but whatever. It's uh, Congratulations, Philly. You, you know, beat the Patriots. I hope this, I hope this makes them retire. Yeah, I hope it destroys them. I hope Bill, Belichick dies. Um, I just hate Jesus. The yeah, I, I when, we were, when we were watching the Super Bowl, there was a bunch of people at the place I work, and I said about how, uh, you know, I think the only thing that's going to take the Patriots out if their plane crashes going to another game, and people are like, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> people are like, God, when I hate people, I don't say mean stuff like that, but that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I, my my whole intention was to live tweet the game. Mm-hmm. That lasted until, you know, like I said, I prioritized sex over finishing the end of the game. I, I like that. I saw what you were doing there. You kept tweeting stuff about, like, you know, Budweiser and, you know, you had yeah. some yards for Philly. Yeah, they, uh, I, I love that shit. They, they spent $5 million for an ad that says that they spent $100,000 on water. <laughs> good job, Philly. Yeah. Or good job, bud. Good uh, job. Yeah, speaking of that, um, did you hear about this Doritos thing that's going on? No, there's there's actually before I talk about that, um, I want to I want to see if anyone else noticed this. But um, with all the Tide Pod thing going on, did you notice that Tide had a lot of Super Bowl commercials? Yes, they did. <laughs> did you notice that? They're probably trying to save their reputation. But the thing is, is, is I've never remember seeing Tide do so many Super Bowl. I don't think I've ever seen him do a Super Bowl commercial. And I was like, are they trying to save their company or did they just make that much money off a of Tide Pod? I'm sure they probably did. <laughs> Because, like, I was like, wow, Tide's really fucking, you know, shoving the Super Bowl um, commercials down our throats. I'm like, they must have made a lot of money from Tide Pods. Well, it could be worse. They could be Dodge Ram, who uh, decided it was a good idea to sell trucks with a Martin Luther King Jr. speech. Yeah, what was that Keep all it about? Keep it classy. What there. was that all about? I don't know. They're just selling their trucks with a Martin Luther King speech. That's so but Keep weird. it classy. <laughs> Keep it classy, Dodge. Good job. I don't know even what so, that means. <laughs> so our bald, uh, our bald, coked out third co-host is uh, joined us in the chat. Hello, Greg. What's up, Greg? How, how's the heroin? I hope it's doing well. We should probably mention uh, we should be going back to our normal time slot next week, and Greg should be able to rejoin us. Yes. Since uh, we had to make some arrangements for a few weeks here, but barring anything crazy, we should be moving back to our 8 o'clock time slot. Yes. We should be, hopefully. Hopefully. And I cannot stop fucking yawning today. I am sorry. I, I apologize to all you motherfuckers who have to hear my dumb ass. Every time you say yawn, I think of that old keyboard player that released albums called Yanni. Yanni. <laughs> do you remember Yanni? Yes, I do remember Yanni. The motherfucker was insane. <laughs> yeah, Greg comes in and just says drugs. We know. We know. <laughs> but uh, like like I was saying, so um, 
the Tide commercials were a little crazy. I was like, wow, they're making money off of people uh, eating Tide Pods. Uh, but then there was a couple Doritos commercials. Oh, the ones with uh, Morgan Freeman. Yeah, and uh, Peter Dinklage. Oh, yeah, that uh, was funny. So. Yeah, P- Peter Dinklage is the one that plays Game of Thrones, uh, plays Tyrion. Um, he was also in, in Elf. Yeah, he was Elf. He was the, the children's book writer yeah. <laughs> that uh, Will Ferrell thought was a real-life Elf. But I, I read this weird thing. Uh, D- Doritos is under fire for um, a rumor going around that they're trying to make Doritos for women. <laughs> and I didn't realize Doritos were gender specific. Well, that's what's well, the thing. Um, there's some information that came out on it, though, that it's not really happening. But there was a lot of rumors started that they think that Doritos are too manly because they get all over your fingers. They crunch too loud. When they get to the bottom of the bag, you just dump them in your mouth. You and I go to different websites, apparently. <laughs> no, I, I can't believe you haven't seen this because the internet is no. like fired up about it. You know what? I've actually been kind of, I hate to say this, but I'm actually kind of busy with work and shit. Mm-hmm. I haven't been paying much attention to shit. Like, yeah. Uh, I, I've seen it all over the place. I can't stop seeing it. It's it's just ridiculous. Uh, that and Kylie Jenner named her Baby Stormy. <laughs> I've been seeing I've been seeing all about Doritos and Kylie, I think that's their name. I don't fucking know. They're all fucking Italians. Uh, no, Greg, I will not stop with the fucking hearts because none of you bastards will hit the hearts, so I need to hit the hearts. <laughs> um Kylie Jenner named her baby Stormy, whatever the So f- what? Whatever the fuck that means. Who cares? It couldn't be any worse than Northwest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so there was this rumor that Doritos are going to make less crunchy Doritos and less stuff that gets on your fingers for women. Uh, Tig's giving us a little insight here. He says the CEO of PepsiCo is on the news tonight talking about the Lady Doritos. Uh, do tell. What what'd you find out, Tig? Uh, um, curious I, to hear. I think, she, and like I said, I think she did come out and say it was just some rumor that the internet was creating, but the internet was getting fired the fuck up about it. I mean, how many how many people has uh, Twitter killed lately? Yeah, exactly. Um, and it, it is sort of weird. Like Ellen DeGeneres covered this on her show one time. Uh, Paper Mate was making pen for women or pens more for women. I guess, because I don't know. Does it come with a tampon dispenser? I don't know how you make a pen for a woman. Is it pink? I don't know. They already make <laughs> pink pens. I, I know, and that's the thing. That's what Alan DeGeneres was saying. It was like, I didn't know pens, you know, do what yet sex a, you were. Yet again, I, I didn't realize that was gender specific. <laughs> yeah. I don't and, of course, Duffy comes in with uh, penis. Thank <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Trevor. Your, your chat works faster than mine. You, you'll say something, and then mine will pop up. Sometimes like, it does. Sometimes it's the other way around. Yeah. I don't know. That, that's just ridiculous. Oh, what he uh, says? I believe she said that they are, in fact, coming out with female specific stuff. Oh, okay. And see, that's the thing with the internet. Like, there's so much misinformation coming out. It's just like, what the fuck? Um, yeah, and and that's what I read. That they're going to be less crunchy. Um, they're going to be less uh, dirty. I I would say because they get on your fingers, and um, they're going to be smaller packages so women can put them in their purse. Uh, because they say that more women carry bags of chips in their purses than anything, any other snack, I guess. So, uh, your uh, wife okay. is drunk. <laughs> she probably had a drink. Yeah. Uh, Doritos said, tweeted out yesterday, we already have Doritos for women. They're called Doritos. <laughs> yes. I, yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Doritos. And actually, I didn't know, but uh, the person, the CEO of Doritos is a woman. I never knew that. Well, PepsiCo. Yeah, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I guess it's only 20 or 72. Um, There's only 72 female CEOs in the United States or something like that I was reading. Bullshit. I have fruit roll-ups more than anything. (laughs) You mean you love fruit roll-ups more than anything? Uh, Or I don't don't understand. You're confusing me. Damn it, Chelsea! It's because I said that Doritos was saying that women have bags of chips in their purses more than any other snack food. That's, oh, that, okay. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. And it is true, Chelsea. Jesus Christ, Amanda. Slow down or I'm going to have to pick you up off the floor. <laughs> or do you? <laughs> Maybe you have to drop your pants to the floor. <laughs> if I if I came home and my wife or significant other <laughs> was laying on the ground drunk, it's going in. <laughs> it's going in Pretty dry. sure she wouldn't, uh, she wouldn't mind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Especially uh, if she did, she wouldn't be able to remember tomorrow. <laughs> hey, I have pistachios in mind. Not true. Well, there's two. Hell, there's, like there's just two you of you come talking. Over to They're my saying out of a majority of women that uh, they say that bag of chips, I guess, is a very popular uh, f- 
food snack that women put in their purses. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> uh, Chelsea also uh, likes Sour Patch Kids, but she only likes uh, the blue ones, which is weird because I'll eat the fuck out of Sour Patch Kids. Uh, that's because you're a sugar whore. Yeah, I am. Uh, that reminds me, actually. Um, I was over at Megan's, I'd say probably about a month ago, and she bought this huge bag of Sour Patch Kids, and on the back was a recipe for Sour Patch Kid sugar cookies. Ugh. Okay, then. Yeah, it was fucking weird. <laughs> you know, I like Sour Patch Kids, but that shit that they put on them eventually burns a hole in your tongue. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that and uh, Warheads. I remember I used to eat a lot of Warheads when I was younger, and it, like... I don't know if your tongue has skin on it, but it, like, took the top layer of my tongue off, and it fucking hurt. Like, it just peeled everything off. It was god-awful. And I still kept eating them. <laughs> you, are, you are something else. Yeah, I know. But whatever. The Patriots lost the Super Bowl. Right. <laughs> Let's not forget that. So, hey, did you uh, catch the halftime show? Uh, yes, I did, actually. Uh, I, I, I thought for sure that they were going to whip a titty out just for old times. I know. That's what I thought. I was like, Super Bowl didn't learn to, to, to have Justin Timberlake headline it. Yeah, yeah, that one dancer was following him around through, uh -huh. through the uh, stadium when he was walking around. I'm like, girl, you know what's going to happen. You don't walk so close. <laughs> Uh, but uh, you know what? It was tasteful. It was well done. I'm not a big Justin Timberlake fan, but I, I thought he did a good job. I and love I him. love the tri the Prince tribute. Yes. I love the Prince tribute. The Prince tribute was fucking amazing. And you know what even made it better? Someone photoshopped uh -huh. uh, Dave Chappelle's Prince over it. And it was fucking... I lost it. You know, it. Prince actually released an EP with that on there because he <laughs> really? loved it. He really? loved it. It's so funny, and I, I just I fucking lost it. It just shows Dave Chappelle like dressed like Prince on the curtain. Cause uh, if you didn't see it, Justin Timberlake put a curtain down, and it had like Prince playing on it and stuff. Uh, I think Lady Gaga did better. Lady Gaga just killed it last oh year. Oh my god, yeah, she so, was fabulous. Uh, I think Justin Timberlake's was a little boring because he wasn't like flying all over the fucking place. I, and shit, I you still know? Uh, I hate to say it, but Prince is still the best halftime show I've ever. Mine seen. Mine was Michael Jackson. Uh, yeah, his was good. His was really good because his he was uh, going he would shoot down and then pop up like on other places in the stadium like body doubles and shit. It was insane what Michael Jackson did. Uh, but yeah, I thought Justin Timberlake did good. Not as good as Lady Gaga, but whatever. I, I'm just more happy that the fucking uh, Super Bowl that the Patriots lost. <laughs> I know. I just, I fucking hate the Patriots, dude. I just, I hope the franchise is done. I hope they all die. I hope Bill Belichick checks out <laughs> and is just done. Um, but that reminds me also about Justin Timberlake. I heard another crazy Prince story. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is real or, or not real, but uh, it's the first time I heard it. Have you ever heard the Prince story about him and Jimmy Fallon playing table tennis? No. Um, I guess Prince is amazing at table tennis. <laughs> like amazing and jimmy fallon he asked jimmy fallon to play and jimmy fallon's like yeah i'll play table tennis with you went back prince destroyed him <laughs> like destroyed him and didn't even say a word when he beat him he just put his paddle down and walked and left and <laughs> <laughs> jimmy, Such a prince thing yeah, to know, do. jimmy fallon was like what the fuck is going on there's this great interview uh where where prince was responding to the dave Chappelle sketch the true true hollywood stories uh with charlie murphy mm-hmm and uh, they said, so it's true that you're an excellent basketball player. He's like, I don't know that I'm that good. It's just they were that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Which is another great Prince story. <laughs> yeah, I love Prince. My favorite Prince funny. story in the world, and if you've never seen this, you've got to do yourself a favor. Um, it used to have the whole thing available on YouTube, uh, but all I've seen lately are, the sh are shortened versions of it. But if you look, I think, on Vimo or one of those other uh, video sharing sites, you can find it, it, it's at least a half an hour long. It's it's Kevin Smith explaining his Prince story. And it is the funniest thing that I've ever heard in my life. I do remember watching that. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of stories with Prince. He just well, he, Prince has just lost touch with yeah, reality yeah exactly he's known for not knowing how to interact with other people right like part of him so down well now he's dead but part of him was so down to earth and would like still ride his bicycle around minneapolis and mm -hmm. still go to the record store and do shit like that and then and part of him is completely like lost touch with reality and this story is about apparently prince was a big fan of dogma he really loved kevin smith's it movie a dogma movie. I love it is movie. a great movie and um he decided that he wanted Kevin Smith to make a make make a documentary. Kevin Smith was like, "I never made a documentary, but okay, you're Prince, so I'll do whatever the fuck you want me to." 
And uh, so it, it goes on, and, and Prince is just, like, driving Kevin completely insane with his his lack of touch with reality. Because yeah, uh-huh. he was even saying to him, it's like, uh, he was saying, Kevin Smith was explaining to to Prince's agent or handler or whatever the hell you want to call it. That I, I, I don't, I, I can't do this. I, I, I don't know how to make a documentary. I never made a documentary. I don't know what to do. He's like, Kevin, you don't understand. Like, you can't just say no to Prince. He's like, the <laughs> fuck, I can. He's like, he's like, no, no, what you don't understand is Prince has been living in Prince land. Yeah, exactly. For quite some time now. Yeah. And he's like, well, what do you mean? He goes, okay, here's an example. The other day, it's 3 a.m. in the middle of winter in Minneapolis, and Prince says, I need a camel. <laughs> and we all tried to explain to him, Prince, it's 3 a.m. in Minneapolis <laughs> in the middle of winter. I can't get you a camel. <laughs> and uh, he just looked at him as if, like, it, it was yeah. a simple It was a simple request. I, I need a camel. Why can't this happen? Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Like, we covered this on our, our uh, show a long, long time ago about Prince renting a house from a basketball star i can't remember which basketball star yeah, it is i don't remember but offhand. he went into this house tore everything out redid the whole house and the guy came back and he's like prince you just like you can't do that and he's like what do you mean he didn't he didn't understand that you can't just go into someone's house that you're renting out and just redo the whole house to be fair he could he paid to have everything returned i know moved out. i know it's just funny to have that much fucking money <laughs> he he turned one of the bedrooms into a hair salon because of course he fucking <laughs> yeah, exactly did. Megan says you guys are talking like he's still alive. He is in our hearts. He is. I. I. Prince. Prince will never die. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny, actually. I got a. I got a lot of flack from people because I posted a picture when Prince died of a, a king size bed and a queen size bed, and it showed a picture of a casket and it said a prince size bed. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I got a lot of hate for that. Oh. <laughs> but that shit is funny, dude. I don't care who the fuck you are. <laughs> Greg, Greg says, who doesn't need a camel at 3 a.m.? Exactly. I, I prefer Marlboro's, but, you know. <laughs> but anyway, Where, where's the drum roll? <laughs> uh, the rim shot. The Pretty rim much. shot. All right. Um, yeah, I forgot I had my soundboard. <laughs> uh, wasn't it last week you forgot the soundboard? It was the last two weeks. And then before that, I, I gave it to Greg, you know, because he likes playing with the soundboard and he, he never played any sounds. Yeah, we need, like, if we, if we don't, I feel like we always have to give Greg something, like a rattle. <laughs> <laughs> like a rattle or something to keep him busy. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's not cool. <laughs> I know, I know. But uh, he has he has cocaine for that. <laughs> yeah, Greg, how are the drugs? Are, are you staying sober, buddy? I hope you are, man. I hope you are. He doesn't have time. He's working third shift. When you work third shift, you you get no, you have no life. <laughs> you sleep. Yeah, I feel I feel like I uh, I work third shift because I'm crazy. Actually, I got on some meds finally. I know a couple episodes ago I was bitching Not about enough. <laughs> yeah, they actually doubled it in the first week. Uh, I got on meds and then uh, they're like, let's see you in a week. Uh, I came you in. You do a we- seem a little less spastic. Do I? Yes. Yeah, because they doubled my meds. I was on 150 milligrams, and they just doubled it. So Genius like- fun joined. Oh, nice. Genius fun. That seems slightly, uh, slightly conceited. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I've been getting some sleep. Uh, I have um, some stuff for like emergencies. I really don't take that because it's powerful stuff. <laughs> like really powerful stuff. Uh, it's a benzo, so it fucks with your mind really bad. So I don't take them unless for like emergencies. But I'm on two other meds, stuff for like daily meds, and then there's some stuff that's uh, good for my itching. Uh, if you notice, my hands aren't that bad. Do you look at that? No, they still look like uh, the underside of a hooker's ass crack. <laughs> oh, really? A, pretty a rough. A lizard. <laughs> um, I mean, as you can see, mine are significantly better. They've yeah. got ash on them because I put wood in a wood stove before I came over. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, but I've been taking this stuff at night that's been helping with the itching. It's been making me sleep a little bit better. Uh, I was on some stuff that really gave me bad dry mouth. This stuff doesn't anymore, so I'm like glad for that. But uh, I'm, you're like I, a walking fucking pharmacy, aren't you? Oh, dude, <laughs> you sh- like you should see my med cabinet. Well, I don't really have a med cabinet, but uh, you should just see. Casey it. does not have Xanax. Relax. It, no, it's it's worse than Xanax. <laughs> the the stuff. Why would you tell him that? <laughs> the stuff I have makes Xanax look like uh, like I don't know, like a Fisher Fisher Price toy set. <laughs> I just. This the stuff. Anyone ever has a metal breakdown? Just come to my house. I'll give you this pill. It'll be gone for the rest of your life. 
It's kind of like back back when I was in college, my, my mother gave me something. I said, hey, I have a headache. Mm-hmm. She gave me something. I woke up three days later naked laying in a cornfield wondering how the <laughs> fuck I got there. <laughs> Yeah, I love drugs, dude. Drugs are so amazing. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I don't like anything. Like, I I don't even drink very often. Mm-hmm. They're like, hell, we haven't even had beer on this show in a while because we're poor, and we also feel like it's kind of rude to, like, drink in front of the recovering alcoholic the... or recovering drug addict. Uh-huh. I mean. um, yeah, exactly. And, and, like, I don't know. There's going to be some changes maybe in the show, and it's going to be harder to do uh, beer of the week and stuff like that. So, I don't know. We pretty much just... Yeah, for now, I mean, we pretty much put that on a hiatus. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, as you probably noticed, we had no band this week. Um, I, I've been reaching out to people, but sometimes they don't get back to me. So, uh, yet again, if you guys know anybody who are in a band or in a band of your own or just like to try to promote your favorite bands and want to put us in, t- in touch with us, uh, please do so. You can shoot us an email at openlyhostileopinions at gmail.com. You can get in touch with us over Twitter. Or, you know, you could uh, send a pigeon with a, you know, CD duct tape to its leg if that's what you'd like to do. <laughs> We're all about that. Hey, well, I got a moment and I'm Playing off the on a... meat flute. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I'm off on a, a tangent here. I should probably take this opportunity to talk about our sponsor. Woo! 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 So, if you're on the internet, you need protection. Especially if uh, you do not want your ISP to know that you are in the business of writing erotic My Little Pony fan fiction. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> or, or when you're looking at uh, midget transsexual uh, dominatrix porno, you may want to protect that shit. And uh, you can do that with uh, Private Internet Access, which is our sponsor of the week. Uh, they're a service that I personally use to keep uh, prying eyes away from things that I don't want them to see, like perhaps procuring television entertainment um, <laughs> through less than reputable means. Yes, uh, Greg says internet condoms. Internet condoms, yes. Or if, you know, that uh, dirty slime ball who is running the FCC succeeds with his plan in dismantling net neutrality, a VPN will just become absolutely necessary. <laughs> So if you want to get in on this, the best way you can do it to help us out and get a great service for only a few dollars a month is go to ohonet.pw slash ohovpn. O-H-O-N-E-T dot P-W slash ohovpn. And sign up through that link for private internet access and you will get us a couple bucks kicked back to you and you'll have one of the best uh, VPN services. They don't keep logs. And I love using it on my phone because if I connect to the VPN, they have an ad blocker on there and I don't have to look at stupid bullshit. Ad blocker. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. There's our, our plug for the week. I'm so, actually uh, proud of us. We did it halfway through the show. Yeah. This time. I, I looked at the clock. I'm like, damn, dude. You know, we have an agreement. We're supposed to do a mid, mid show plug. Um, actually, that reminds me. I was listening to this podcast that my brother told me to watch or listen to watch. watch. Uh, well, they watch <coughs> us. I mean, we do an audio or video podcast. Actually, that reminds me. Did I um, um, tell you that I made a belt out of watches? You did not. It was a waste of my time. <laughs> <laughs> hey <Hey-oh>. uh, <laughs> uh, You know what? Did I tell you I forgot for, I think, the last two weeks to do the podcast upload because I just realized it and I'm an idiot. What do you mean? Yeah, I forgot to put it on the website. <laughs> what does that mean? You haven't released the last two weeks of, of the podcast? Are you serious? I think so. I might be wrong. Dude, I, my, my mind's been going. Check out. it. <laughs> now you, now curious you're curious. Now. You know, I, I, I know I haven't put that shit on Patreon, but nobody nobody's fucking patrons anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know. We have a no, couple. no one loves us. Nobody loves us. We have a couple of patrons. They only played like a dollar. Yeah, because like that that's sort of important. <laughs> sort of important like yeah. you know content getting to people Jack. yeah <laughs> i know I, I i've just been i've dropped the ball you know what no no we're good we're good 66 67 68 69 70 yeah i oh, think we're sweet. good all right are we, are we on 71 right yes we're doing 71 right oh now. thank god all right i must have done it in like a haze <laughs> i don't even remember um you're yes. fucking stupid. Amanda's like losing all punctuation and shit now. Uh, yeah, Amanda. Uh, if if you want a pill, just get at me. <laughs> this shit is a true train wreck. Yes, we're not talking about your life, Greg. 
like our marriage. Our marriage is fine. Don't be telling people we. Have, don't be don't be telling people that we we don't have a good marriage, man. <laughs> Um, but like I was saying, so having our sponsor reminded me that I was listening to this podcast the other day and it, I wish there was something like this around here because we, me, I think me and you could do it like in a heartbeat Uh oh. instead of, if you have a business or like uh. something that you want to do or you want a building for, okay. Instead of renting a whole building out, there's this company and I can't remember the name of them. But what they do is, is they have this huge fucking office building, and what you do is you basically rent out a room mm-hmm. for it, and um, it's basically like an office building with a bunch of small people, like businesses, all throughout it. You don't even need your own secretaries. They supply all that. They pay all the electric bills and everything like that. You just pay them a fee to take care of all. We need listeners who are willing to pay money for this to happen i know but isn't that cool like i i wish there were, it's probably only in major cities and i wish i knew the name of it but i thought that was cool i was like that, that is would, cool that would make so much th- things so much fucking easier greg says do i need to take over all technical shit for this shit show absolutely <laughs> i i mean yes uh okay yeah greg says uh, i'm coming over some random day some random time to set up this mixer sounds good but just don't make it tomorrow because we're about to get a foot of fucking snow yeah <laughs> oh man i'm ready for it though i got some snacks i got my coal stove filled i got extra coal for it i got my snow stuff because i'm gonna build a snowman tomorrow because i'm not a child molester uh <laughs> i'm so ready for this storm baby bring it on <laughs> arr, arr. you're still not gonna you're, you're still not gonna shovel out your driveway and i'm gonna get stuck next tuesday <laughs> when i come here i again. shovel out my driveway it's just my driveway is so long and it takes forever and i don't have a fucking snowblower or anything i think i'm gonna ask someone if i can borrow the snowblower tomorrow did you just say axe ass ask asks I'm going to ask somebody. I don't know. My mouth's so fucking dry right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I just had to pop a cough drop. Yeah. I had a dry throat today. Um, I, I sort of do when this show goes on. I never used to have dry mouth talking. You to... talk too fucking much. No, but it's, <laughs> I've always talked too much. And it's like just lately for some reason. I think it's the meds maybe. I don't know. Amanda <laughs> says he does it for Megan, not you. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> what do I do for Megan? <laughs> Shovel the driveway. Yeah, you you. I'm not fucking him. <laughs> <laughs> not really. I, I just do it because I have to go to work. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, Megan did get stuck one day five times, and I had to help her. Yeah. Um, so That Megan, was the day before last Tuesday, yeah. wasn't it? So Megan, Stop scratching you, your fucking hand. I see you doing it. No, I'm not. I'm playing with this. Oh, you were. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Delay. <laughs> um, so uh, I'll be at work while it is snowing. I'll probably get stuck. I'm going to need drugs. Uh, I got some Amanda, good... behave yourself. <laughs> God. Amanda's like fucking she's have, she's drinking a bleach bag. right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. She's under the stink. Stink. <laughs> you know what sucks? Stink that drinking. bitch don't get hangovers. Who? Amanda. Really? She's Polish. Oh. A lot of Polish people don't get hangovers for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know either. <laughs> I, have no, I have no clue. Hit me up, Greg. I'm nearby and can help you with that. Dude, if I even, if, if sure, I... sure, Chelsea, offer the fucking recovering cokehead drugs. Yeah, good job. <laughs> now you wonder why I don't want them to hang out with you guys. Oh my god! Oh, you know, and now we got Amanda. Stop. <laughs> Seriously, you're the dumbass who get random drug tested or something. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I've gotten to the point now where I hardly drink anymore. I even sniff a Heineken and I have a headache for three days. Yeah, and, that, and that's the way it's been getting with me. Like, even if I say I have one drink or something like that, I get, like, sick. I think I'm allergic to alcohol. Or I think I've drank so much in my life, my body's like, I can't take anymore. Please, please stop. <laughs> you were, you're the only alcoholic I ever met in my life was just like, oh, I'm just not going to drink anymore. <laughs> I've never seen that shit. Yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I just don't want to drink anymore. I'm on a lot of meds. Um, I'm just focusing on my anxiety right now, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, maybe if you get yourself properly medicated and no longer do any uh, kind of destructive behavior behaviors, you'll no longer look like a vampire. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like uh, People have been telling me, I can't really notice it, but people have been saying the dark circles under my eyes have been going away. Um, so I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. According to this show, you still look pretty dead. I know. That's the thing. I don't think they are, but for some reason, um, yeah. Uh, that reminds me. Uh, M- Megan thinks I have really nice eyebrows, which is really weird to me. Do you think that's weird? <laughs> what is what I, is nice about them? Megan? I don't know. Uh, 
Megan told me that one day. She's like, you have really nice eyebrows. I'm like, I don't know what that means. Um, I feel like I need to get a restraining order against you. I mean, they're they're very symmetrical. <laughs> See, I don't do anything to them to do that. She says she likes the arch on them. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, I got them <laughs> Michael Keaton eyebrows. Oh, I love Michael Keaton. I'd suck his dick. <laughs> <laughs> he would, too. He's my favorite Batman. Loved him as the villain in the new Star Wars. Or Star Wars. Spider-Man. Um, I love him. And uh, reminds me of Star Wars. I'm not going to get too into it because I... The last one made me want to cut my dick off. Uh, they I released the it. trailer for the Solo movie. Uh, what's her name? Emily Clark. I'll probably only see it because Emily Clark's in it. She's from Game of Thrones. You'll probably only see it because you're a big bitch when it comes to Star Wars and you'll watch everything no matter how bad it is. <laughs> hey, man, I want to be a real Jedi. Actually, I want to be a Sith Lord. I'd be so evil. You, you know, I'd you... be so evil. Like, I'd just like, walk by and abort babies in women's stomachs and shit. I'd just like show my head out and like, kill the baby inside of her. <laughs> You'd do no such thing. Yeah, I would. I you would, you you know what? You would suck D- Disney's dick on this. <laughs> they could come out with a uh, with an entirely uh, what is it? A first person perspective inside of a stormtrooper helmet. And you'd watch it. <laughs> Actually, you know what I'm waiting for, Disney. If you're listening, you're probably not because no one listens to us. Jar Jar Binks movie. Release it. You know you want to. You know you want to. Jar Jar Binks. In 3D. You so gotta stop <laughs> drinking the stuff underneath of the sink. <laughs> Jar Jar is my spirit animal. He is my... I wish he was a horoscope sign. <laughs> Jar Jar Banks is amazing. I love him. Uh, Megan says they have a nice natural arch. That's what she says. <laughs> I think they look like caterpillars. <laughs> like you should big... go get them threaded. <laughs> yeah, I know. Cornrow my eyebrows. Somebody was doing that the other day. Well, you know, I, I passed. I was at the mall with the fam, uh-huh. and we were walking by, and with I saw the fam. The, I saw them doing that threading thing, and I'm like that looks fucking painful. I know, and that's the thing. Eyebrows um, are like the thing these days. I don't know. I'll, I see them all over Facebook. People promoting, oh, I'll do your eyebrows. Yet again, blah, blah, blah. we go to different websites. I just, I don't know. I'm on a lot of social media, like Facebook. I know you don't like Facebook, so I don't think you see a lot of the stuff. No, I try to stay the hell off of Facebook, mostly because people are talking about their fucking eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly. Uh, that actually reminds me. I don't know what's going on with our emergency systems uh, these days, but another fake one went out. Did you see it? No, I yeah, didn't hear about they it. They sent out a fake. I'm so or, behind on the times right now. <laughs> the, uh, well, it wasn't fake. It was real, like the ballistic missile one in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. But they sent a tsunami one out, uh, a tsunami that was going to hit that was so big, it was going to hit Florida all the way to Maine. That's a big tsunami. Yeah, that's a big tsunami. And then they fucking, like the Hawaiian thing, they released it. And they're like, oh, we're sorry. It was a mistake. Who is controlling this shit? <laughs> Jesus Christ. World's going to hell in a handbasket. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking know. Whatever, but just get with your shit, government. Whatever you're doing. I mean, we got we got a reality star as a president. We've got a little midget guy, a fat guy who's threatening to bomb us with nuclear weapons. We got, <laughs> you know, like it, it's just this whole fucking world's like going crazy. I, I whatever. You, you know what really solved this world's problems? Jar Jar Banks. <laughs> I was going to go with a mass extinction event, but sure. <laughs> I know. Uh, that's my opinion, basically. I think people, especially in America, are so fucking pampered. They, they just they don't know what real life is, and I just think we need a, a wipeout of America. Like, I know why God did the flood. <laughs> I just, I get it now. <laughs> He's like, I can't take this shit anymore. Um, I'm done. I'm just going to flood the fucking earth and start over. It's like hitting the reset button on the old. Yeah, Nintendo. I think I think we need to think we need to go do that. I'm 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 thankful I can swim. <laughs> <laughs> I just people are so fucking stubborn and just so fucking they bitch about everything. And it's just like, I don't I know. bitch about everything. We bet. That's what our show is. Casey is bitching about shit. I know, but like I, I have to. So I don't in real life. You know, I got I got a girl, you know, sort of <laughs> just I, admit it. I got to be positive around her, you know, and she has a kid. I got to be positive around him, which he loves me, by the way. <laughs> kids do love. You. I, know, I don't know. Kids why. fucking love me. I don't get it. I don't it's probably because you're you got the same same maturity level. 
Probably. I don't know. I don't really talk to kids like kids. Like, I'm not one of those people who's like, who's your boo, your boo, boo, oh, yeah. Like, I don't I do don't that I don't think shit. I've ever met anybody who legitimately <laughs> oh, I does do. that. I just want to, like, when like, when someone comes up to a kid and starts talking like that, like, I'm looking for baby powder to put on my hand because I just want to slap the shit out of them. Greg says that was almost an admission. Progress. <laughs> I agree. Uh, she's just my girl, I guess. I don't know. My whore. My girlfriend. My, my hoe. <laughs> My uh, I I call her my walking disaster because she is, um, mega state. <laughs> yeah, she uh, I think just yesterday she was uh, shoveling around her car, uh, something caught her car and ripped the side paneling off. Um, <laughs> I don't know how snow did that, but that's just Megan's luck. She's everything that could happen happens to her like that, and it's just <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, well, you know that day that I saw the lady getting her eyebrows forcibly ripped out with a thread. I, I actually ran into your girlfriend at the uh, mall. Oh yeah, I did hear that actually. Amanda told me that your wife said that you guys uh, ran into to Megs. Yeah, see, see the the wife was off uh, spaced out, and I saw her first. Like, hey, Megan, and Amanda's like, oh hey. <laughs> Yeah, because Megan said, I, I saw Jay and Amanda at the mall the other day, and I, I felt like I took Amanda by surprise. She just had, like, this blank stare at her you face. You did. She wasn't paying attention. And I'm like, no, that's just Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I ever said hi to Amanda, she just stared at me like, who's this fucking freak, and why is he saying she hi just didn't. She just didn't see it first. <laughs> uh, Greg says, if you ever say bae ever again, I'm relapsing just to deal with it. I didn't say bae. <laughs> I didn't. I no, no, it was my wife. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I didn't say I didn't say Bay. I mean, she's drunk, so she spelled it wrong. But the only time no, I no, say she didn't. Never the mind. only time I say Bay is when I'm saying the Spice Old Bay. <laughs> Yo, speaking of which, you hear that uh, the Spice Girls are getting back together? Are you fucking kidding me? So tell me oh what you want, god. what you really, really oh want. Oh my god, don't even get me started, dude. If you wanna don't be even, my if they play around here, I'm going. <laughs> yeah, me too. I don't care if they look like old used beef jerky i just i want i want to see the spice girls live it was it was fun music <laughs> it I, was was fun to, music. I, I went to bed the other day with a 90s station playing on oh really yeah there's a uh i was borrowing ashley's car and she has s or whatever the fuck and they aren't making music though they're not then what, what the fuck are they doing just what? like going on a book tour probably it's not like they have any actual talent besides that i would fuck every single even this like sporty dude looking one i would have fucked every single she's, one. The, she's the best looking one nowadays really i i, I don't know i liked them all i just like I, just, I was all about ginger yeah oh yeah she just had big fucking titties dude. <laughs> huge fucking titties <laughs> I was going to say, I like the red hair, but <laughs> she, I just remember she had like the hugest titties and she was like the only one that showed a lot of cleavage and I just, oh man, it was great. Uh, that sucks. What the fuck are they going to do? I don't know, but Amanda's trying to like score, <laughs> score some hookups in the fucking chat. Stop it. Is she trying to do drugs? Ma Amanda, no. She's just joking. Don't do drugs. If you want to do drugs, just, uh, just snort some Comet, you know, the powder cleaner, just snort Oh, no, butt. that's great. That's, <laughs> give her a fucking aneurysm. Thanks, Casey. <laughs> it was funny. Everyone she doesn't have life insurance, you asshole. I'm going to uh, bear, I'm gonna have to uh, do one of those, uh, do one of those where you have to go to identify the body. <laughs> Sir, do you recognize this woman? No, I'm sorry, I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I never meant to hurt you. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go rape you later. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't recognize that woman. Papa, baby, I miss uh, you. <laughs> Close the drawer. Um, <laughs> Let the city bury your ass. Yeah, man. If you want to do drugs, I'll just give you some mental stuff. They're really good. You, yeah. You, you, <laughs> you, you stop you, it. <laughs> shut up. You won't wake up in three days, but whatever. <laughs> A hundred K yes. I don't know what that means. Uh a man or Megan says, I got crack. Yes you do. I've seen you naked plenty of times. <laughs> Amanda. Stop. Oh, that sort of hurt. <laughs> well, stop trying to give my fucking wife drugs. I, oh, I mentioned it once. They're fucking I I'm pretty sure I can't slap them through the fucking I'm, screen. I'm pretty sure they're exchanging pen pal <laughs> information. Or PayPal information. You're smacking me. <laughs> Jesus. God, I'm like five shots in. Dude, I'm going to have to go home and babysit the drunk girl. <laughs> um, some lemon juice to break it down and rig it. We are set. I don't even know what the fuck that means. <laughs> uh, the lemon juice is to break down the drugs, and the rig is another name for needle. Oh, Greg, I I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry your life's like it is. It just sounds horrible. <laughs> life's like it is. He did it to himself. He knows it. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, baby, oh, I man. know it. 
<laughs> when, when it gets down to that, you have to use lemon juice and stuff. It's just look in the mirror, buddy. <laughs> I feel bad for you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he already looked in the mirror. Oh, that that reminds me. I don't know why this reminds me, uh, but I forgot it on my phone. Uh, speaking of drugs, did you see this girl? Uh, Scout might get in trouble because she posted on Instagram that she was selling Girl Scout cookies outside of a drug dispensary. I heard about that, but I didn't hear she was going to get in trouble. Yeah, the, I think that's a very enterprising young lady. Yes, she even posted on Instagram, and she was really nice about it too because she was like, "Hey, from till four p.m., I'll be um, you know, buying or selling cookies in front of I think it was called Drug Ecstasy or something was the name of the pot shop." And um, she was like, even bring a friend because shopping with friends is a lot more fun. Like, it was just like, and she had. That scout leader's going places. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. She's a businesswoman, man. Yeah, fuck She's yeah. She's an entrepreneur. That's, that's what America's about, <laughs> That's man. an entrepreneurial mindset yeah, right there. Exactly. <laughs> and that's what America's about is finding people's weaknesses <laughs> and exploiting them. Speaking of which, you want to buy our t shirts, <laughs> we want to sell you our t shirts. We have badass t-shirts. Go to OpenlyHostileOpinions.com and check them out for yourselves. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, we haven't sold a t-shirt in a long time, man. Yeah, you I People know. need to like start wearing our sexy shit. We, we, we just got we, we to get the word out there more. I yeah, know. you know, like I don't want to turn this whole thing into a gigantic advertisement, but, uh, you know, like we do have to kind of like do some calls to action here. Speaking of which, if you guys know any degenerates who might enjoy this show, please share with them. Yes. They may enjoy... What we got going on here, uh, we're trying to grow our audience. We need more viewers and more listeners. Yeah, pretend we're herpes. Just spread us everywhere. Or right, because uh, if we start getting a bigger audience, then we could possibly get more patrons. And if we get more patrons, then we could have more money to do stuff. And Jay will have to remember to post the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you're just like, yeah, probably two weeks I haven't done. I'm glad you have, though. No, I did. <laughs> like, you know what? I was just saying, I know I haven't posted it up on Patreon, but it's just like I've been hectic oh, yeah. trying to figure shit yeah. out and whatnot. But anyway, um, yeah, we, we, we want to do cool shit, and we haven't been able to do cool shit because we don't have money because we're broke. <laughs> and it's not like we're trying to say give us money, but give us money. Yes. <laughs> give us money, please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or we'll rape you. Yeah, just buy our family. t-shirts and shit, man. It's not like we, uh, you know, we don't make a lot off a t-shirt, but you know what? It's just cool to think that other people are wearing our shit. <laughs> Your wife is so depressed. <laughs> I fucking love it. I fucking... Why do you love that my wife's depressed? Because <laughs> Greg's like talking about drugs and how you can't get a 10 anymore and it's fucking retarded. And your wife's just like, life's retarded. <laughs> Uh, that's so that's awesome. a, uh, we're gonna have to end this show early just so I can go home and babysit. That's so awesome. That's so awesome. The fuck has happened? This whole show has just gone oh, off the rails. That, that sounds like me. I think that's why it's so funny to me because it just sounds like me. This is our show today. Oh, man. It has gone completely off the rails. <laughs> Oh, man, Amanda, that was good, man. I see you got fucking Tony Braxton poison in the fucking scroll across there. I didn't write that one this time, so. Yeah, I love I love Tony Braxton. See, <laughs> I don't know why you didn't hear more from her. She had a couple hits, and that was it. She was a, break <laughs> my heart. Say you love me again. She was amazing, man. She had, like, she had like a lot of soul and she, shit yeah, going on. Yeah, she had on. that smoky voice. Yeah, it was amazing. That husky voice. Yeah, I loved it, man. That reminds me, actually, uh, how we talked about Fiona Apple a lot. Megan loves her. I love Fiona Apple. Yeah. Fiona Apple is is a badass. Yeah, but... she was another one that was like, I don't know, sort of jazzy, had had that raspy. That second album of hers was phenomenal. No, oh, okay. I'd never heard it. I just no, I... no, you have. It's oh, really? Um, I don't know. It's been what since the nineties. I don't know. Getting old sucks. Like I was watching the Nutty Professor today. I was like, oh, you know, I. Are I'm... you talking about the one with Eddie Murphy? Yeah, the first one. No, that's not the first one. With Eddie Murphy in it. Oh, okay, yeah, no, the, uh, fir the first one had uh, Jerry Lewis in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I was watching it, and I was like, when did this come out? And it was like 1996. I was like, oh. Ugh. Yeah, oh. The, the, second, the second album from Fiona Apple was called When the Pawn, is what it's shortened to. But this is the actual title. 
when the pawn hits the conflict, he thinks like a king. What he knows throws the blows when he goes to the fight, and he'll win the whole thing. For he enters the ring. There's nobody to batter when your mind is might. So when you go solo, you hold your own hand and remember that depth is the greatest of heights. And if you know where you stand, then you know where to land. And if you fall, it won't matter because you'll know that you're right. That's, that's the, the whole, album title. That's the whole album title. Yeah, but everybody calls it Win the Pawn. Jesus It's Christ. a great album, though. It's great start to finish. I just remember Criminal. It's been too long to remember. That was off it for her yeah. first album, which is... That was like her first hit. That's what made her famous and shit. And she was like whoring it up in the video. And she looks like an anorexic twig. Oh, but... yeah. And it, like, it took me way too many years when I was an adult to realize that that was a crack house. Yeah. And, and I don't know why this reminds me of like I, I was reading that a lot of porn stars have been dying lately. They've been killing themselves. Shit. Like... Well, when you consider what... You know, type of human being decides, you know what? I'm going to fuck people on camera for money. <laughs> that tends to maybe indicate that there might be some mental health issues yeah, there um, that, that need addressed. I know the one, and I can't remember her name, uh, which is pretty fucked up. She wouldn't sleep with gay guys because, you know, they have a chance of spreading more diseases and having more diseases. And she didn't want any of that. And I guess they really, really bullied her and she killed herself. And I can't remember her name. But there's been like I feel like every time I'm like watching or listening to some kind of news thing, they're just like, "Oh, another porn star died," and I'm like, "Jesus Christ!" <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, people are gonna do that for a profession. It might speak uh, volumes that their mental health is not where it should be. Yeah. So I I don't know. I mean, I couldn't do it. I I even heard as a guy, it sucks. Um. Well, if you want to make any money, you pretty much have to do gay porn. Yeah, exactly. That, yeah, that's what they say. They say men don't make a lot. If you, if you do, it's you have to make a lot of gay porn and shit well, like that. Well, think about it. There's probably a lot of frat boys out there going, yeah, I'll go do porn. <laughs> so they probably have no shortage of guys who will be willing to do oh, straight yeah. porn. But uh, when it comes to gay porn and stuff, that's when they, you know, they don't have as many people who are willing to do it. So it's kind of like one of those commodity jobs. Yeah, exactly. And I could do it. Uh, fuck another grandy ass. I'm just not attracted to men. <laughs> and everyone would be like, oh, you're a homophobe. And it's like, I don't, you know. Where should one's mental health be, Jay? Dr. Jay? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, Jay. I'm terribly sorry that, you know, I made a small observation here. <laughs> God is, forbid. Is Greg saying you're crazy? Is that what he's saying? No, he's saying that uh, I have no qualifications to be making that. But I'm not the crackhead. <laughs> Amanda can't even spell anymore. She's <laughs> Jay so standard. I don't know what that means. Because Jay is perfect. Yeah, she's wasted. <laughs> uh, J Cause Cause class J C perfect. <laughs> no, I think she, she's speaking she's Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> now she's now she's all Spanish and stuff. That was so funny though when she, Craig was talking about it's retarded and man, it's just like life's retarded. <laughs> it's so funny. To me. It's so awesome. <sighs> so awesome you just oh. love people to be broken don't you i guess i don't know i think that's why me and megan get along we're both broken <laughs> i just i don't know do i seem more spunky though maybe it is the meds spunky <laughs> yeah i don't know if spunky would be the word what, what do you think chad do you think i'm more alive today or, or like, more alive yeah because i can't tell and who the hell's chad what do you mean chad you just said chad chad Oh, chat. Chat. Yeah, I was asking the chat. Like, uh, I, I don't <laughs> think we have a Chad in here. I don't. No. I don't see a drunken frat boy in the audience. I haven't known a Chad since he. Oh God, God, you goozies! <laughs> she's go she's... home, Mandy. You're drunk. Oh wait, you are home, Mandy. You are yeah, home. I was gonna say she is a. No, I haven't known a Chad since uh, back in high school, and now he's like a heroin addict, killed somebody, raped like a three year old. And now he's in jail. <laughs> that's probably where he belongs he was the nicest kid and then i found no all not that, so yeah, much no, not then so i much. found all that out about him i was like god damn i'm glad we sort of split ways <laughs> yeah yeah i would say so uh xanax is a hell of a drug casey i'm not on xanax xanax is too weak for me <laughs> they're like just go straight for the stuff that gives serial killers uh it's not the meds oh it's me not the meds oh you're saying that you make me happy Ugh. Of course. <laughs> oh, God. Casey, God, how, Casey how, just can't be happy by himself. Someone else has to do it. Oh, my God. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> God forbid that a woman might enter your life and might enrich it in some way. Enrich it. What is she, flower? <laughs> Enriched flower? <laughs> oh, my God. You are such a fucking... You are... <clears throat> so, Amanda, what the hell are you even trying to say anymore? Uh, Greg says... 
since you said Xanax is a hell of a drug, do you do you think I'm a little bit more loopy today? <laughs> um, you're always a little spastic. Yeah. I don't know. I just I'm in a good mood. Uh, the snow. I like snow. I'm excited to build a snowman tomorrow. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what sucks is all my firewoods covered in fucking snow. Oh, that's I have like a day worth. Really? I, I, I'm I, hoping it gets warm and thaws out. Yeah, I would bring a bunch in tonight. I can't. It's all fucking buried. How many? Are you sure Xanax is the strongest benzo? Because the shit I have, they only make up to five milligrams because it's so strong. Um, so I don't know if that's true or not it could be stop breaking the law asshole <laughs> uh your wife heard drugs again so she's asking greg for it. <laughs> oh my god i you are ruining your reputation right now um, my wife's never done a drug in her life yeah you want to take a hit on something to get <laughs> my god she doesn't even talk like somebody who does drugs it doesn't yeah. even sound right uh, you want to take a hit on something together <laughs> Oh my God! You, you go behave. Go go fucking sit down. <laughs> uh, Xanax is one of the drugs that when you take it, you wake up in jail and have no idea how it happened. Yeah, Klonopin. I can believe that. No, I'm not on Klonopin. No, I'm talking about the stuff that I have just for emergencies. It's uh, they only make I think five or six milligrams because it's so potent and you can OD on it pretty bad. Um, but uh. Yeah, that, that sounds like you had a night like that, Craig. <laughs> uh, Seek News says piss on the snow until the wood shows. <laughs> uh, that sounds actually like a really good idea. Except for the fact that, you know, wet wood would definitely be you know, worse. Although I guess it would be wet anyway. Yeah. Um, no, the stuff I have for emergency, Greg, is uh, Ativan or it's Lorazepam. I think the generic brand of it is called Lorazepam. I don't know. Um, if it is stronger or weaker than Xanax. My but... back hurts. I'm standing up. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? It, it's pretty funny, though, because with Jay standing up and I'm sitting down, I'm still taller than him. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> Nobody can see my head now. Oh, you just yeah. see my fat gut. Yeah, uh, I'm waiting for it to catch up here on our stream so I can tell <laughs> what's going Man, on. you are behind. Yeah. Um, what the fuck is a cutch? <laughs> Jay's wife's drunk. Just don't pay attention to her, Greg. <laughs> She's fucking wasted. My wife recently discovered alcohol, so yeah. now it's like, you know. Yeah, she uh she always like Greg's like, I'll be right over. <laughs> yeah, see, Adavan is no fucking joke, dude. <laughs> I hope you smoke, I just like the way it smells. <laughs> Amanda says, Are you showing your wiener? No one wants to see that. Um Jay's about to go beat his wife. I would never. <laughs> Jay, let's go running. I would, too. Um, I went walking today. Oh, you did? Sounds for something. Yeah. Well, I didn't go out of the house. I went on a treadmill. Oh, okay. I didn't know you guys had a treadmill. Yeah. No. Jay, let's go running. Um, yeah, see, my, my thing takes longer than yours for some reason like that. Yeah, Greg, Ativan, like, when I take Ativan... I always tell people like good things. I'm like good thing I'm not around people when I take it because like, say someone broke into my house while I was on the Ativan and were robbing me. Like I would be, be like, do you need some help yeah. carrying it out like, to your car? Like, or don't hurt yourself. Take what you want. Do you want a sandwich? I got some hot chocolate. Like I just don't <laughs> give a fuck about <laughs> nothing when I'm on that stuff. <laughs> you want some sandwiches? <laughs> yeah, and it's so addicting. Like when I take it, like I said, I only take it for emergencies. But when I take it, the next day I have to take a half, and then the day after I take a quarter. Because uh, it really, really affects your brain. <laughs> Maybe if you beat her, she'll stay in line. Megan says, Jesus Christ, where is your head at, Megan? <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, let's just say Megan is a little submissive. <laughs> uh, uh, we know. <laughs> <laughs> She's dating me, so you know that something's going on. <laughs> um, Arian, oh, Ativan knocks me out. I was taking it to sleep when I was dope sick. Yeah, Ativan's no joke, dude. Um. And, and the funny thing is, is like I've explained to people or, or I've talked to people that take Ativan for like recreational use and they say it fucks them up. I guess I'm so fucked up. It just makes me normal because <laughs> I don't get fucked up like other people do. So I don't know if I'm just crazy or what, but. Oh, my God. You guys got to stop teasing Amanda. Now she's starting to take shit seriously. Why? She goes, I'll fucking leave the moment he does and I'll have a black eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna have to go home I thought all right said, show's I, over i gotta go home and babysit i thought she said black guy i was like man you have something to tell us <laughs> um yeah we are out of time uh that was a fun show though thanks to everyone uh for coming and hanging out we always appreciate that the chat's always fun we like it when you guys come in here and talk it talk 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 have a good time with us yeah 
All right. Well, remember, y'all need to remember eight o'clock next week. Yes, eight we're o'clock. doing eight o'clock next week. And uh, next week, when we do the show, it will be Chelsea's birthday. Uh, her birthday isn't Tuesday, but it is the next day. Uh, so everybody, if you know Chelsea, make sure to tell her happy birthday. She hates her birthday because it's on Valentine's Day, and she says that every woman's special on her birthday, so it makes her feel a little sad. So if you know Chelsea, oh cry me a river. <laughs> so if you know Chelsea, just give her a little butt pat, pat her on the butt, give her a kiss. I don't know, rape her if she's into that stuff. Uh, I don't know, but uh, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Have a good night. See you later. See ya. Uh, thanks. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions podcast. <laughs>